Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to Geektopia. I'm here, and today on Cardwell's Cauldron, well, I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. Uh, we are going to do another type of aggro if we can do it. So there's Mono Blue out there. We already did Mono Blue Flyers for our Patreon video, and that wreck shop. And there's also a Mono White professionally out there as well. So I thought I'd just do it, you know, good old what Rolling Stone said, and, and just paint it black. That's what we're going to do. Sometimes you need to. Yep, sometimes you need to just get all dark and emo and edgelord and fucking destroy people. <laughs> we, so, like I said, aggro. We have 12 one drops, and they go as follows. First one, Grasping Scoundrel. It's just the one drop, one one. It gets plus one, plus zero as long as it's attacking. So, it's two damage for one mana. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all you really want. This is great. Yep. Next up is a Gutter Bones. He's a 2 1 for 1. He comes into play tapped. You can pay 2, return him from the graveyard to your hand, activate his ability only during your turn and only if your opponent lost life. Ba basically, Spectacate. Or really, not Spectacate. Spe Spectacle. <laughs> I don't know why they just didn't put the keyword there, but whatever. It's yeah. another 2 1 for 1. Yeah. And then uh, Vicious Conquistador to actually help you reach that Spectacle trigger is one black, one two. Whenever it attacks, each opponent loses one life. So essentially a two for one. Yep. Two for one, for one. And it's a two two technically. And if it gets blocked, you still have spectacle triggered and it's all good. Uh, next up, we go into the two drop spot. We got a Orzov Enforcer. Two mana for a one two death touch with afterlife one. I think this guy's balanced. Like he's so good. Yeah, he, he puts a lot of pressure just because he has Death Touch, so they are forced to lose a dude if he dies. Yep. And you don't lose much value because you get a Woman Flyer. Yeah, exactly. Just keep swinging after that. It's pretty good. <clears throat> now, the good old the Tempest Gin of the deck, of course, is Dread Shade. It's 3 black, 3 3, and then, which is strong in general because you can pay 1 black and give it a plus 1 plus 1 until in a turn like all shades do. Just to be able to be like, turn three, this, and then turn four, you can tack for seven, if possible. It's just, that's that's how it goes. Yeah, and he's kind of your bomb, because you just, you're just getting there with him. Yeah. Pump a whole lot of mana in him when he gets to hit. They're going to have to play, you're going to have to play mind games with him, because they're just going to have to block this guy, no matter what, every time. Yeah. Uh, next up is Midnight Reaper. Three mana for a 3-2. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, he does one damage to you, and you draw a card. Yep. This guy's just used a lot. He's super good. And for having all your aggro dudes, just keep swinging so you can replace your thing. There's no Curious Obsession for the card draw, so he's going to have to be it. Yeah. The next one is, is I kind of just threw him in there. He's a little high curve, but it's Spawn of Mayhem. He costs four, but we hope to play it for a spectacle cost. It's a 4-4 four, four for three, hopefully, Flying Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, he deals one damage to each player. So you and your opponent. Which is good, because you're going to hopefully just drain them constantly. But if you're under 10 life, he gets a 1-1 counter for every time he does this. So he gets bigger when that happens. So you're hopefully going to be outracing him and killing him faster than they kill you. Yeah, he's pretty strong for what he does. And he has a hammer fist gauntlet, and that just makes him metal. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it for the creatures. As far as the spells, we're going to start off with Blade Brand. Two mana for an instant, draw a card, and target creature gains death touch until the end of turn. Yep. This is perfect aggro tempo card, because you draw a card, something dies. Yeah, it replaces your stuff, and it makes your gutter bones that you always get back yep. kill things. Now, I'm really debating whether to replace this with something else, but cast down, it's just simple two mana, kill a non-legendary dude. And I've been trying to think, most of the what was out there was mostly non-legendary, so you just... Banalish Montrals, just anything really. Just get them out of there. <laughs> Next up is Sovereign's Bite. This card is so good. It's, mm -hmm. it's seeing so much play everywhere right now just because it's strong. Yeah. It's two mana, target player loses three life, and you gain three life. See, so, yeah, the worst thing about aggro is that if you don't have that reach, well, this is the reach for black. Yeah, this gets you there. It's literally just take three damage. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Now, this is a pure tempo card. It's Walk the Plank. It's just two black. Destroy target non merfolk creature. And if I can remember, it's probably horrible, definitely against Golgari. So we might have to switch that up. I for just forgot about Jaylight Ranger being a stupid Merfolk. <laughs> but it gets rid of anything else tempo-wise. Yep. 
Uh, next up is Dead Revels. Four mana, but it's got Spectacle 2. Yes. And when return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. So after all your dudes are dead and swinging in, you're just like, hey, one of these dudes is going to hit. Yeah. Because you're going to have more dudes than they do. And you get some back. Yeah. And the fact that oh, they're all cheap, so you just play them immediately again. Like, they're wasting their time, and they're going to be where they're on the defense the whole time while you kill them off. Yeah. Now, of course, there's the lands. It's uh, 21 lands, because we're going to try to go as low as possible. But we have two Memorial Follies, which might be the downfall. But you want to be able to get your bigger stuff out, just in case. So basically, it comes into play, tap, adds a Swamp. Then you pay three and tap it, sacrifice it, get two, get a creature card from the graveyard and put it back in your hand. And then, and then of course, 19 Swamps, making it 21. Yeah. That is the main deck. It's really not... <clears throat> It's not terrible on the lands, like you said. It's 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 sketchy at best with the memorials, but yeah. it's super fun. Yeah. And of course, sideboard. Uh, or, well, we don't have sideboard. We have honorable mentions here in Geektopia Island. And the first one is Footlight Fiend. It's a hybrid Rakdos, so one for a one red or one black. Uh, when it dies, deals one damage to any target. It's a one one. It can be good depending how spectacle hits or like if you can need that extra reach there. To replace like grasping scoundrel i don't know it seems like it would be good yeah he he does seem like he's got his place dude is a lot better than people give him credit for because oh, yeah. he can do a lot for you oh yeah next up is priest of the forgotten gods two mana for a one two human cleric <laughs> tap sacrifice two other creatures any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature you add two black and draw a card yeah so, of course, most people will probably want to put this in a Aristocrats deck. I almost want to keep this for mid-range, kind of. Like, just big, heavy dudes that get in your super wave. Or if you think they can outrace you. So you can just sacrifice your little dudes, you draw a card, you know, add mana, and it's just kill, kill your dude. And the last one of the auto mentions is uh, Isra, the Awakener. Uh, one and two, two black. She's a human wizard, 3-3, three, three, death touch. Which is good stats in general, because... It's hard hitting, but they don't really want to block it. But whenever she attacks, you may pay X. When you do, return a target creature card from the graveyard with X from the graveyard to the battlefield with a corpse counter, which is kind of weird. And so that's supposed to remind you that whenever it dies, exile it instead of putting it back to the graveyard. And this is for you just to swing in with a death touch creature and bring out your little dudes again and just keep repopulating the field. Yeah, because she, she just brings back all the things that they didn't like to deal with. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not for one turn. That, that dude's back in play. So if they don't answer it, you just get to have a dude for free. Yeah, or answer her. Yeah. At least you get one free dude in to replace her. So it's really cute like that. Yeah. Yeah, so like, that's it. The, well, just talking about it, I'm kind of sad about the, the kill spells. But we want cheap kill spells, removal, there's no fatal push anymore, or tragic slip. So we'll have to think about that, how to make that a little bit better. But with that, that's I just wanted to make black tempo, just like blue and white. And you know, it has a little, Seems pretty good. Has a little spot. And red's already out there too, so. And green has their stompy, so I might as well have black tempo. Yeah, might as well. All right, with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. You have a good day. Later. Bye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all of our future content, make sure you tap that bell. And go ahead and check us out on our streams. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, and thank you for staying here on the island. Later, guys. Bye.